Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at DMA and Karen. Now, this video is a little bit old, it's a few weeks, but this just shows at how irrational and how disturbing the First Amendment audit, well, fraud of the community really is. In this video, you'll see them chase down a cop, make baseless accusations, and then get upset when they speak to a superior officer about a complaint which he is trying to take for them at that time but they want a form instead of you know getting it done right there so let's watch this video and enjoy shall we your wallet contest in trust tells the story hey! of the system that stripped oil hey! and land wealth from the osage nation dollar by dollar pay over the course of a century and how the osage nation why are you driving like I don't get it. I don't know who's We've been people. watching you. What's your name and badge number? Yeah, follow this. Listen to in trust. There's no context to why they started following him in the first place. It looks like they just saw a cop car and, well, just wanted to harass him. But for what it looks like, his lights were already on. Not to mention, you got to saying you saw him before. I don't know where you're getting that information from. I mean, unless it's something you're not going to show us, unless you want to make your own, mm, I don't know, lies, try to push your narrative. Now pull us over. Daria. What, you think you're the fucking only ones that can... Uh, This guy's driving like a oh, This dude's bag. out of fucking. Right. Control. Straight from the studio is yeah. by Gabe. Gabe Laundry. Seriously, good sense. Explain what? It looked like he was following the rules of the road, but it did look like you guys had an illegal U-turn. And it looked like you chased him down for no reason to yell at him so far. Well, I'm going to get out of the car, and I'm going to come over there and talk to you. Let me out. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah. Okay. Why, why are you breaking why the law? You, you know how many laws, traffic laws we saw you try you do? Alright. Crossing double yellows, doing illegal U turns, well, are you speeding. Drunk? Have you been drinking? I'm tonight? doing a, I'm doing a Sorry officer, but I have to cut in here and say shenanigans. I am calling shenanigans on both Karen and DMA here. What proof did you show us of him driving without lights on, crossing double yellows? And doing illegal U-turns. You didn't. There's no proof of it in this video. I didn't edit it out. This is your guys' video. You put up. So you tell me. Where's the proof? Until you show me that proof, I am declaring shenanigans on your claims. Again, my apologies, officer. Continue. Uh, traffic enforcement. You don't and have I'm any lights You're on. doing traffic enforcement driving like that? What is your name What's and wrong badge with you, number? man? This is yeah, my name, name badge, badge number. Is there what's anything else name? you guys no. need? No. What's your, what's your name? name and badge my name number? is Officer Coletta. Officer okay. Coletta. Okay. So is there anything else you what's need? What's your badge number? Yeah, you need to call a supervisor. It's right here. Okay. Right here. So is there anything else you it's guys right need? Here? For yeah. me no, right here. No, I read your policy. Oh, okay. What, what, what? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Are you his supervisor? No. What's your badge number? All right. State your badge number. It's right here. You it's not see, right here. Right? It's, right it's not here. right here. It's on my badge. State your badge number. Look at this. Your policy. Because we already know the shit you 
guys are gonna pull. All right. Is this your Look it. Now they got a whole bunch of no. them here, guys. Well, there would be a whole bunch of cops there for officer safety when you have an officer who was driving when Karen pulled herself out and put the flashlight on to shine at him while he was driving, which, by the way, is highly illegal in every state because that makes it harder for any driver to focus on the road when they have a blinding light in their eye. Then you guys follow him, trying to tailgate him at his speed. So he probably got on the radio and called for help. Because why? There's a deranged individual in a Karen chasing him down to what? Yell at him for no reason? Where are you calling? A whole bunch of them here. He's gonna close. Yeah. Look at this. You can talk to my supervisor, okay? Yeah, man. You need. Okay. You, that's ridiculous. You're driving like that, man. All right, man. Breaking the law. You're you're enforcing traffic laws, and meanwhile right. you're driving like that. Breaking the law. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Law like that? What's your name? It's right here. That's your name? Yeah, my name's right here, bud. My name's right there. Okay. And that's right there. And we've been watching you tonight, and you need a ticket for what you were doing okay. over there on Federal. You are okay. out. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. Of f***ing control. Okay. All right. So we want yeah. your supervisor out here. We want your supervisor All right. here now. We'll be here. All right. Who do you think you are to drive like that? Seriously, what were you doing? Showing off? You drunk? What's up? I would like to know what driving you're talking about, first of all, Karen. Because from what we saw in the video, we didn't see him do any of the stuff you guys are claiming he did. But we did see you guys do an illegal U-turn, and we did see you cut your cell phone out while you were driving, put the flashlight on to record him, and then scream at him to distract him. Hmm. Now, I don't know all the laws in Colorado, but I do believe those would be some severe violations of the driving codes there. I mean, driving with your cell phone is definitely a takeable offense in the entire country. Distracted driving is also a takeable offense. And spotlighting or possibly blinding somebody with your phone, this flashlight? Oh, that's definitely a big, big no no. You are out of control. Is that why you're chomping on that gum like that? So, Holy s, dude. So, guys, what we did is we saw this guy right here cross a double yellow line, do an illegal U-turn, not even in an intersection, no lights on. And then he hauls ass up federal, and then he does another U-turn, hauls ass going the other way, makes a left, goes up there, does another U-turn, comes over here speeding, then he comes and pulls in over there, does another U-turn, and then he comes in here. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Because he knew we were following him. And he says he's traffic enforcement. So he's over here writing people tickets for breaking the law while driving, doing traffic infractions. Meanwhile, this guy's breaking the law every two minutes. I'm calling shenanigans yet again because there is no proof of that in this video. You guys first say he didn't have his lights on. Then you guys say you saw him on another street doing all this stuff, doing the illegal U-turns, driving without the lights, crossing the double yellows, but we never see that in the video. Yes, there is what looks like he may have crossed a double yellow when it was turning, but that could just be an optical illusion due to the fact of your distance from him seeing the turn of the road and those yellow lights would make that happen, but we don't see him do that. We don't see anything you say he did in this video, but we do see you guys chase him down to yell at him. So, shenanigans on you, DMA. And then he's right here, he said. He's right here, his badge number's right here. What's your badge number, bud? Hey, man. Hey, Can man, nothing, bud. What's your me? badge number, bud? Hey, tell me, hey, man, nothing. Don't get close to me, all hey, right? Man, what, is that a law? Yeah, you, it's a law. What's the law that I can't get close a, to you, bud? Don't get close to me. I'll get all right? as close as I want, but don't tell me nothing. You're not my boss. 
Clown? Right here, he said, bud, right here. Mr. Right here. I'm trying to see your badge number since I gotta get close. You won't tell me. Let me see what is it. We got supervisors here. I can't even see. It. Stop, right. man. You won't you tell could, me your badge number. I gotta you can look talk at to it. my supervisor. I want your badge number, bud. What is it? Give me your card then. I can't even read it. Stand in the light so I can read your badge number. Dude, I, need your ba I need you your badge number. I need your badge number. I need your badge number. What is it? 2205. Why was it so difficult? Why did I have to ask you 15 right. times? You can talk to my supervisor. Why did I have to ask you 15 times? Go ahead, talk to my. Okay. Next time I ask you for your badge number, give it to me the first time, bud. Why don't you have a seat while we talk to your supervisor? Yeah, why don't you sit on the curb, man? That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Uh, what authority do you two jack wagons have to tell him to sit down on the ground? You don't. Now you're trying to play cop. Now, you're not going to get charged for impersonation. But what gives you the authority to tell him to sit down on the ground? Nothing. That's what. Sit on the curb. Have a seat. Can you get him in handcuffs, please? No, don't do that. You guys are acting up like this. Okay. Good evening. Hi. What can I do for you? First of all, your name is? Sergeant Harrison. Sergeant Harrison. So, this officer over here on Federal was driving like he's intoxicated. I think you need to do a roadside with him. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Let me give you my car. Thank you very much. No lights. No nothing. Um, I don't know. What were you doing? 60? Up federal? You just decide to flip a U-turn in the middle of federal? Pull up on the sidewalk? Floor it back down federal to Hampton. Uh, you flipped around again. Uh, then you drove erratically up the hill again. Came back. T took a left. Flipped a U-turn. Again, it would be real nice to see that footage if you have it. But yet, you don't show us this in the video. You show us you see him coming out of the parking lot with his lights on. Getting ready to turn legally and then you guys do an illegal u-turn and chase him down if you have this proof why not put it in the video why not show us this i mean i would love to see it but wait you guys are lying about it apparently in the middle of the street over there ran the light came this way and that and now you think you're accosting us because we essentially stopped you down there because you were gonna cause a fucking accident with the way you were driving. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> and then you peel out of there because you don't want to talk to us. And then you pull in here and flip around like you're gonna take me on head on. You got a serious problem right here. Okay, so what do you want to talk to me about? I want I, to I'm, talk to you. I'm not understanding what's going on here because I just got here, and you're telling me that something went on with this officer. So. That something? Did you not just hear everything I just said? I did, but I didn't. It is kind of hard to, hard to understand somebody when they are yelling and screaming and acting like a mad person. I mean, you could have calmly told him everything like that. Say, hey, I have a video of him doing this. Take a look. Instead, what do you do? You yell and you scream and you flap your arms like you're trying to take flight or something? You're not helping your case. You're making yourself look worse. I've been here from the beginning, so maybe you're not telling That was the beginning. the beginning. So how did we come in contact with you? Were you well, following? here, right, I just explained finish. that. Were you following him or was he following Well, yeah, we ended what? up following him from down there. Okay, and why were you following? Because why not? I'm just asking you questions. Because he's, we saw he needs him and driving over. like a crazy madman. That's okay. why. And, and he didn't have his emergency lights on. He's doing illegal U turns in the middle of the road, not even in an intersection, crossing double yellows, speeding, going up federal, pull another U turn. We just told you the whole story. Did another U-turn, went through here, and then we, we, we stopped the him story. right there. Now yeah, it's the same story she I just, just told you. I just told you that didn't story. Well, it didn't sound the exact same. same story. Oh, you don't like it from a woman, huh? Is that what it is? Oh, now he's rolling. 
no, Karen, it's not that he's taking it from a man instead of a woman. It's the simple fact of he's saying it in a calmer tone than you, for lack of a better word, talking and squawking like a, like a deranged chicken. You are clearly more passionate while he's being more calm and rational. Even though you guys are both possibly making this up. And I will say possible, because until I see proof of it, I'm not going to believe it for myself. But there's no point in saying the cop is being sexist, okay? In his eyes. He had to hear it from a man. Here's, here's my, uh, no, I was listening to you, ma'am. I have no problem. Mm. Okay. So if, if you'd like to file a complaint, you're more than welcome to do that. You need to give him a roadside right now. No, I don't. He's intoxicated. Okay. That's your opinion. Then prove me wrong. I don't need to prove you wrong. Why? Because you, you guys are above the law? No, ma'am. Do you have And you can drive the way you, you want? Like to file a complaint? This is a complaint right now. Okay. You need to arrest Would him. Would you like to file a complaint <laughs> written on a piece of paper for me with your No, signature? you write it on a piece of paper because it's your fucking job. You're the supervisor. Hand are you stupid or something? Handle your out of control officer. And what did he do that was out of control besides the driving that you're talking about? That's it, the driving. It. Like if we would have done that, we would have gotten went to jail for uh, for reckless driving, man. No, we don't take people to jail for reckless driving. Uh, they, I know they take them to jail for less. We, we issue tickets. So. Oh, cool. Then, so then he needs a ticket then, then for reckless driving. Again. So just because, he, just because he's a police that, officer like doesn't mean he can down, commit crimes like that, if I like the law. So will you two stop over-talking the sergeant so he can explain what you guys need to do so he can try to help you? He's asking you guys to fill out a written statement, but you want him to fill it out. Now, why are you trying to do that? Is it because you guys are making this up, and then you guys know if you fill out a false statement, it's an arrestable offense? Because it can fall on the grounds of perjury, but it can also fall on the grounds of false reporting. And in some states, that can be a felony or a misdemeanor. But, again... He is trying to help you. You guys just don't want to take his help and do what he said to get your guys' complaint resolved. Yeah, yes, ma'am, I do. Oh, if you'd like to no follow lights. through, there is a light on And there. then, and then his name's right here. His, name's, his badge cam. number's right here. Okay. Your policy is to verbally identify with your name and badge number, right? No. It's not? No. It's not? You know I've read your Did policy, you right? Me? You know I've Did read you your not policy. Hear me? Did you not hear me? No, I didn't hear you. All right. That's What'd you what say? Fun. Would That's you like you to file thought, that huh? complaint? Yeah. Okay. I just are gave you, it to you. Are you willing to give me a written statement? No. Okay. I just gave you the verbal statement. All right. That's all you need. Would you, well, let me talk to my officer. Yeah. Okay. Huddle. Huddle, guys. Right. On two. Ready? Break. Oh, so they're out of here? This f***ing guy right here, man. Your badge number's not right here, bud. Learn how to drive, man, you clown. What's wrong with you? Do better, bud. Freaking idiot. Learn how to drive, moron. Clown, Mr. Right here. Bash number's right here. Why are you trying to prevent him to leave? Why are you constantly getting in front of his vehicle so he can't leave? Are you trying to make it where he's trying to hit you or something? Are you trying to make a false narrative here? Because honestly, that's what it looks like. Well, folks, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. I'll put my links down below. And I'm getting ready to do something big for Halloween on the Discord page. So, if you guys haven't already joined Discord, please join Discord and come to the NCR News uh, Discord page where we'll be doing something special for Halloween. That being said, you guys stay safe, be well. And I'll see you all next time.